Ho, ho, ho! Santa? Oh, ho, ho, hi, Shane! It's you! G'day, Tomo! Bet you're excited about your first Christmas in Australia! Oh, yes! I hope it snows. I love seeing children wrapped up warm and knitted hats and scarves playing in the snowy fields. <gasps> Filled with the joy and excitement of presents on Christmas morning. Well, you're in for a big surprise, mate. <laughs> Great. Oh, I love surprises, Shane. Especially Christmassy ones. Oh. Where are all the children making snowmen? And the snowflakes falling onto snowy fields? Oh, a snowflake wouldn't stand a chance today, Tomo. It's way too hot. We Aussies have Christmas in summer. But then, a new friend helped cheer me up. Hello, Tank Engine. Happy Christmas! Look what Santa gave me. His name is Hoppy. It's a real life Hoppy. Only he's a lot bigger. She's a girl, Kangaroo Thomas. See? She's got a pouch for a baby. Oh, yeah. Sorry, madam. Oh, no! She took Hoppy! <gasps> oh, bust my buffers! Oh, I'll never catch her now. It's the kangaroo! That's odd. She seems smaller than she was before. It's not the mum kangaroo, Thomas. It's a Joey. How do you know his name's Joey? <laughs> no, Thomas. A baby kangaroo is called a Joey. Oh. Oh, he's all alone on Christmas Day. Where's your mom, little Joey? I think we've seen his mum, Thomas. Oh, the kangaroo we've been chasing. Maybe she thought Hoppy was her lost Joey. Now we really must find that kangaroo. Come on, little fella. We'll find your mom. Go on, almost there. Mother Kangaroo, I've got your baby. Look. Oh, no, she doesn't understand. Does anyone speak Kangaroo? They make clicking noises like this. <gasps> it worked. Sorry, that was the last one. Ah, Thomas, can you please collect some more coconuts? It's very important, so please hurry. Don't worry, Charubala, ma'am. I won't let anything slow me down. Bye! Ah, hello, Rajiv. Can I ask you a question about the Indian Railway? Of course! Of course you can. Nobody knows it better than I. That's great, uh, because I passed a funny sign on the way here. It had a monkey and a... <gasps> You mean the monkey palace? Do not go near it. Do you understand? Why? It is riddled with troublesome monkeys. When I went, they tried to steal my crown, Thomas. My crown! Imagine me, Rajiv, without a crown. I'd be like, well, just another ordinary engine like you, I suppose. <laughs> but I mean that in a nice way. <laughs> oh, I know Rajiv said I shouldn't. But I really want to see the Monkey Palace. And if I hurry, I won't even be late with the coconuts. Monkey Palace, here I come. <laughs> oh, wow, the Monkey Palace. I am so glad I came to see this. It's beautiful. <laughs> and you fellas are so funny. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay, you can get down now. <laughs> Hello. <gasps> Maybe they really do want me to be their king. But I need to get these coconuts back to Charubala. <laughs> oh dear, 
there. I didn't mean to frighten you, but I need to go. I don't know what Rajiv was so worried about. Those were some of the nicest monkeys I've ever met. <gasps> What's going on? friends. I finally managed to deliver the coconuts, and everybody was happy again. <laughs> Delicious. What are they gonna film at the nature reserve? Giant pandas! Woohoo! <laughs> you see, the giant panda is the national animal of China. <laughs> oh, they sound amazing. Rare, giant, Cute. And the national animal of China! And I can't wait to see them! Sorry, Thomas. The pandas are inside the reserve, and trains can't go in there. Well, then I'll see one in the forest on the way there. I don't think that's going to happen, Thomas. We've worked on this railway a very long time, and even we've never seen a wild giant panda in the bamboo forests. Well, I'm gonna look for one anyway. <whistles> As I made my way to the nature reserve, I kept looking for giant pandas. Roll camera! It's a panda for sure. But it's a red panda. They're quite rare too, but not as rare and hard to spot as a giant panda. Look! A giant footprint. to see one of those. They are also quite rare. But it's not a giant panda. No, it's not. Shh. <gasps> wow. wow! Are those... They are. Keep quiet, Thomas. We don't want to disturb them. Wow. They're not quite as big as I'd imagined. No, Thomas. Those are panda cubs. Oh, look! There's the mother. We stayed to watch the giant pandas in the wild until they disappeared back into the forest. Come on, Thomas. Let's go to the nature reserve now. <laughs>
Come on a journey with Thomas and friends All around the world and then back again Big new adventures for all to see So much to discover in each country We'll go to China, Australia Birthday wishes have made this the best birthday ever. I can't believe how fast it's going. Time flies when you have magical birthday wishes, I guess. <laughs> Toby! Huh? Toby? That sounded like Henrietta. I hope she's okay. Oh, Toby, where are you? Henrietta, what's wrong? Oh, Toby and I were going over the top of Gordon's Hill when our coupling chain broke. I went racing down the other side and we became separated. Oh, I don't know where he is. Oh my, well, I'm sure we can find him together. But he could be anywhere. We'll never find him. Hmm. What if we don't need to find him? What if he finds us? What do you mean, Thomas? Well, the the bigger you are, the easier you are to see. I wish to be a giant. <gasps> Thomas! Thomas, down here! <gasps> Thomas, you're giant! I sure am! Woo! Oops! Sorry! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Toby will see you for sure! Oh, Henrietta, where are you? Henrietta! Henry... Thomas? Thomas! Ha! Ah, there he is! Oh, Henrietta, I found you! All thanks to Thomas! <laughs> and happy birthday! Ah, my pleasure! Now I'm off to make more birthday wishes! <laughs> that last magical birthday wish I made was a good one! Will my next magical birthday wish be just as good? Of course it will! <laughs> Smells like smoke! Help! Help! And sounds like Belle needs help! Belle, what's wrong? Oh, Thomas, that barn is on fire, but it's too far away from the tracks. I can't reach it. Look! Oh, where's Flynn the fire engine? He could do it. He's dealing with another fire at the bakery. A cake was seriously burnt. What kind of cake? Birthday? What? No, it was a uh, Tuesday cake. Because today is Tuesday. <laughs> oh, 
Well, anyway, we need to do something about this barn on fire. If only there was a rescue engine nearby that could travel off the tracks. Hmm, maybe there can be. I wish to be a rescue engine. Wow, Thomas the Rescue Engine. Firefighter Thomas, ready and steady. And raring to rescue. I love driving off tracks. Time to put out the fire. Looks good to me. Thomas, huh? you missed a spot. Oops. Thank you so much, Thomas. You really saved the day. Always happy to help. And happy birthday, Thomas. Birthday, happy birthday. It's a happy, happy birthday song. Let me tell you a tale of the legendary lost engine. It was a long time ago in the heart of Italy. An engine kept on searching for a great discovery. With his little coach in tow, he traveled from Rome to Napoli. Hunting high and low to feed his curiosity. Ended up in a mine in hope of hidden treasures rare. Quickly ran out of steam and he soon got stuck in there. Oh, it's such a sad tale full of woe and misery. A legendary story of an engine who famously got lost in a mine. But I tell you, it is fine. That lost engine was little old me. And into our story steps a heroic adventurer by the name of Thomas the Tank Engine. He came from Sodor to work the rails of Italy. He wanted to learn Italian and archaeology. But then working with Gina showed his curiosity. So she told him a tale of an engine who famously got lost in a mine. But I tell you, it is fine. That lost engine was little old me. But Thomas didn't give up. He wanted to prove his worth, to impress his friend by finding something precious to unearth. So he went down some tracks which were clearly overgrown, found himself in a mine, he was told, all tracks lead to Rome. But then Thomas heard a voice. He knew he wasn't there alone. Could it be the lost engine or just his own echo? Echo, echo, echo. He shone a light which landed on a sad and weary too. It was me and my coach Beppe hidden deep in the shadow. At last, we were saved! I wanted to sing out loud. In fact, I will! Oh joy, it was a hero. He had come to rescue me. And Beppe, of course. So now two friends are free. Thomas gave me fuel which made me fit the fiddle dee dee. But the mine was collapsing. Can this be my finale? So Thomas pushed us through the mines of mystery. Straight through an exit left us hanging by the sea. But Stefano was there with the strength of Hercules. Pulled us out from the dark into the heart of Italy. Yes, I was lost in a mine. But I tell you, it was fine. That lost engine was little old me. A tale for all to tell of a legend long ago who became Italy's most famous celebrity. That's me. The next magical birthday wish I make is going to be a good one. I'm going to think of something really great. No more monkeying around. Here, you monkeys! Wait a second, real monkeys? 
<laughs> Rosie, are you all right? Oh, Thomas, I need to get these monkeys back to the animal park. But every time I go near them, they run away. I've tried giving them some yummy bananas, but the minute they see me, they run. <sighs> that just gave me an idea. Rosie, come with me. The monkeys won't follow you, but maybe they'll follow a banana. What do you mean? Just watch. I wish I was invisible. <gasps> Thomas? Thomas? Where did you go? Right here. Where? I don't see you. That's because I'm invisible, which means the monkeys won't see me either. And what monkey can resist a floating banana? <laughs> <laughs> ah! All done! The monkeys are safely returned to the animal park. Oh, thanks so much, Thomas. It's good to see you again and happy birthday. Not a problem. See you next time. Birthday, happy birthday. It's a happy, happy birthday song. Thomas? Thomas! Has anyone seen Thomas? Thomas! Thomas! He could have bashed into some buffers or dropped down into a mine or rolled into the ocean because he passed a danger sign. He could be stuck inside a tunnel with no steam to move at all or crash into a station master's house right through a wall. He could have strayed into a woodland on a track that's overgrown or found a secret tunnel to some island that's unknown. That doesn't make any sense. How could there be an island around here that's unknown? What if it was always covered in mist? Hmm? Oh, that sounds very mysterious. Oh, <laughs> could be caught up in a landslide. Or have fallen off a bridge. Or try to climb a mountain. And be stuck up on a ridge. He could have been derailed when he was trying to win a race. Imprisoned in a steelworks. Or be lost in outer space. So top of hat to Major Thomas. Come in, Major Thomas. Or stop messing around. You're causing confusion and delay. He could have gone off to some other place that we don't even know. He could be almost anywhere. Or where did Thomas go? We don't know, sir. Well, keep looking. He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas. He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas. He could be anywhere, anywhere. Sir, sir, sir. I found out what's happened to Thomas. All right, Emily, calm down and tell me slowly. Thomas went down to the dock, sir, and, and Carly loaded him onto a ship. She did what? But that means he could be anywhere in the world. He could be checking out the pyramids while floating down the Nile Or in the outback of Australia with a crocodile He could be in Paris sitting by the Eiffel Tower Or chilling in Antarctica Wouldn't last an hour He could be in the Himalayas taking in the mountain air Or acting like a tourist in the heart of Times Square Are there tracks there? Of course! The subway goes right through it <gasps> You mean he's gone underground? Hello? Hello? He could be in Rio de Janeiro as the carnival goes by Or out on Easter Island saying hi to a Mu'ai Hi! Hi He could be on an African safari racing a zebra Or in Venice on a gondola Don't be preposterous, he's a tank engine, he can't fit in a gondola Well he could if it was a rather large gondola he could be wrestling a sumo in a match in Tokyo. He could be almost anywhere. Oh, where did Thomas go? We still don't know, sir. Well, we have to find him. He's my number one engine. He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas. He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas. He could be anywhere, anywhere in the world. Oh, Thomas, where could you be? I wonder how many magical birthday wishes I have left. <laughs>
I've been having so much fun, I've lost count. Oh, I'm sure I have plenty more. Now, what to wish for? Oh, where did he go? I must find him. He's lost. Hello, Emily. Who's lost? Percy? Gordon? James? A baby elephant. Oh. I let him out to stretch his trunk. I looked away for one second and poof, he's gone. I'm afraid to go looking for him in case he comes back this way. I can go and look. Oh, thank you, Thomas. But he's just a little baby elephant and a noisy engine like you might scare him. He needs to feel safe. Hmm. Would another elephant help him feel safe? Yes, that would help. But it's not like we can just make a wish and an elephant appears. When you have magical birthday wishes, you can. I wish to be an elephant. <gasps> Thomas, you're an elephant. <sighs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> what I meant to say was, yes, I am. Now, I'll go and find your little baby elephant. Baby elephant, where are you? Baby elephant. Oh, this isn't working. I wonder if there's something I can do to be more like an elephant. I know. <gasps> <gasps> that way. <gasps> <laughs> Hello, little fella. You're safe with me. Found him. Oh, Thomas, you did it. Thank you so much. Happy to help. Now I'm off to... Oh. <laughs> Off to make more birthday wishes. Happy birthday, Thomas. Birthday, happy birthday. It's a happy, happy birthday song. These birthday wishes are the best birthday present an engine could ask for. I wonder what I should wish for next. Oh, this is impossible. That sounded like Nia. I hope she's okay. Nia? Nia! Was that you? Oh, Thomas! I'm in a bit of trouble. I need to set up this party tent, but it takes ten engines to put it up. One for each tent pole. That is a problem. It gets worse. People will be arriving any minute. I don't have time to find nine other engines. What if you don't need nine other engines? How about myself and eight other Thomases instead? That would do the trick, but how? I'll use a birthday wish. I wish there were eight more of me. <gasps> Hello. Huh? Huh? Good day. This is exciting. What number am I? This is too many Thomases. This is a great number of Thomases. Am I the last one? Anyone keeping track? Are there any more Thomases coming? Okay, I think I'm the last one. Perfect! Now there are ten of us. We can help put your party tent up, Nia. Oh, thank you, Thomas. This is just wonderful. And also maybe a little strange. <laughs> now let's set up this party tent. On the count of three. One, two, three! We did it! And it's all thanks to you, Thomas, and your other little Thomases. <laughs> no problem. Nothing to it. See you again. Isn't it your birthday? <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. It's been my pleasure, Nia. Now I'm off to make more birthday wishes. Birthday, happy birthday. It's a happy, happy birthday song. Yes, my name's Thomas. I'm a tank engine from Sodor. And I'm Tamika. Welcome to the Karanda Rainforest. Our froggy friend here is one of hundreds of animals who live here amongst the trees. Wow, it's beautiful. Sure is. Let's keep it that way, eh? Bye, Thomas. <laughs> what a funny looking bear. Excuse me, could you please get down, little bear? You're blocking the water. <laughs> what sort of bird is that? Good day. I'm Ranger Jewel. There's a kookaburra in distress, and I'm trying to find it. <laughs> there he is. Hold still, my feathery friend. There. 
Tyler's campers must have left their garbage behind. And look what else they left. <gasps> Cinders and ashes. Exactly. Leaving a campfire burning could start a bushfire which could spread through the whole rainforest. <laughs> Thomas, freshwater crocodiles don't eat trains, especially baby ones. I'm not a baby train. I mean baby crocodiles, Thomas. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <gasps> oh, not another bear in my way. Out of the way, you! <laughs> Thomas! I was just chewing him off the tracks. There are other ways to get animals to move, Thomas, without scaring them. This rainforest is a koala's home, where they deserve to be protected and respected. Maybe it's not such a good idea that you helped me today, Thomas. Thanks for the lift. Sorry, Thomas. Not everyone's cut out to work with the wildlife. Oh. That, that campfire looks pretty big. <gasps> Fizzling fireboxes! Oh, thank goodness you're here, Thomas. We need to get to safety down on the coast. Wait, where's the koala with the little white beard? I saw him this morning at the water station. Oh, that's Banjo. He's not here. Oh, no. The water station. I'm coming, Banjo! Grab that branch. Come on, little Banjo. This way. You can do it. Now, let's get you to safety. Whoa! <laughs> These magical birthday wishes have been so much fun! <laughs> I can't wait to figure out my next wish. Now, what to wish for? Oh, no! That cranky sound sounded just like Cranky. I should see if he's okay. Cranky, is everything okay? No, Thomas, everything is not okay. I accidentally dropped a crate into the water and I need it back. Oh, well, maybe I can help. Oh, I appreciate that, Thomas. But how? Last I checked, a tank engine couldn't go underwater. Instead of a tank engine, what about a submarine? I wish I was a submarine. Thank you so much, Thomas the Submarine. Happy to help. I'll find that crate and be right back. Oh. Hello, little fishes. There it is! Oh no, it's all tangled in seaweed. I'll need some help. <laughs> they did it! I've got it! There, job complete. And I couldn't have done it without you, Thomas. And those fish. All right, good day, Cranky. Oh, Thomas, one last thing. Happy birthday! Da, 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 da. How can I put this? Well, I know you've taken on a plate for. Right, but I cannot get used to being your caboose because I still like to decide where I go as well as when. If I'm ever coming back again, what matters most to me is living not completely free.
I'm here yet. I'm going to make myself invisible and surprise him. Invisible? How can a steam engine make itself invisible? Is that who I think it is? Invisibility! Oh! Huh? Did I hear there was an invisible engine around here? Hmm, it sounds like my old friend Merlin. But I can't see him anywhere. Here I am, Thomas. Oh, Merlin! There you are! Hello! <laughs> see what you can do when you have three funnels? Huh? <laughs> Sorry about that. You probably didn't see me. I get that a lot. You see, I'm very good at hiding. As a matter of fact, I'm the best hider ever. <laughs> Invisibility of... <laughs> <laughs> How did you get off the tracks? Have you been derailed? No, nope. I don't need rails. I'm a traction engine. What do you think of my new steam whistle? It makes you sound like a big railway engine. How fantastic. I'm an experimental engine. Want to see what I can do? Invisibility on... <laughs> This is Merlin Trevor, my friend from the mainland. And I'm the best hider ever. <gasps> that didn't sound like any engine I know, but I definitely heard one. It must be. It has to be. <laughs> did you hear that too? Yes, I did. It sounds like... Merlin, the invisible engine. <gasps> Wait until I tell Thomas. But... Oh, hello, Merlin. Nice to see you again. <laughs> so, I heard his whistle, and I looked around all the tracks. But there was no engine anywhere. He really was completely invisible. Are you sure, Percy? Are you making this up? I don't think Merlin can really make himself invisible, Percy. I think it's only pretend. Well, it's not pretend. I saw it with my own eyes. Another engine came along, and he heard his whistle, too. So I know I'm not imagining it. Percy believed he had seen the invisible engine, and that made him very happy. Righto, you lot. I'm Shane. Shane the plane. <laughs> I'm just kidding, folks. Shane the train, and I'm here to entertain. <laughs> now, let's roll. <laughs> Mind if I tag along? Go for it, Tomo. 
That means, of course, please do welcome to the Outback, folks. A wide, brown land full of mystery, adventure and fascinating animals. Kakadu National Park. Watch out for crocodiles. Once a sneaky croc snuck aboard and hits the lift. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, folks, Kakadu is home to 10,000 crocodiles, some of them as heavy as a small car. Hey, look, there's one now. Ooh. A few days later, I was back at Pine Tree Station again, delivering some cars. Hey, it's that engine with the funny accent. Where's Shane? <laughs> oh, he hasn't turned up yet, Thomas. He should have been here hours ago. Excuse me? Are you the Outback tour train? Uh, um, well, uh... Y y yeah that's me! I'm Thomas the, uh... Hippopotamus? Thomas the Hippopotamus! <laughs> uh, 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 just kidding. <laughs> I'm Thomas the tour train, and, uh... Hop on and let's roll! <laughs> Welcome to the Outback, a, um, wide, dirty land full of, uh, mysterious, weird things and funny looking animals. This ought to be a laugh, eh, Aubrey? <laughs> What's that big red thing way across the desert? That's a big red bus, yeah. And it's driven by the Queen of Australia, Queen Kylie the <laughs> Third. <laughs> Are you sure you're a tour guide? Of course, I'm a professional. Thomas, you've taken the wrong track. Yeah, Thomas, stop! The old rickety bridge hasn't been used in years. Well, Aubrey's right. It could be dangerous. It looks all right to me. <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> So sorry, everyone. I'm not a tour train at all. I got us stuck in the middle of nowhere. Now what do we do? It's Isla. Oh, Isla! Come save us! Help! Isla! Isla! Oh, I just love having these magical birthday wishes. I can wish for anything I want. I'm going to wish for balloons. Balloons? <gasps> Rebecca? Oh, oh, no! My balloons! Oh, Thomas, I was transporting those balloons and I accidentally let them go. There's no getting them back now. Don't be so sure, Rebecca. I'll use a birthday wish. I wish I could float like a balloon. <gasps> Whoa! Woohoo! Oh, Thomas! Be careful! <laughs> Let's collect some balloons! <laughs> Just about finished! Huh? Oh no, you don't! Oh, Thomas! You did it! Now to get down. Here you are, Rebecca. A bundle of balloons, safe and secure. I can't thank you enough, Thomas. Happy to do it. What are these balloons for, anyway? They wouldn't perhaps be for some sort of surprise birthday party, would they? No, oh, nothing nearly as exciting as that. <laughs> that reminds me, Thomas, happy birthday! <laughs> Thanks so much, Rebecca. And now I'm off. Birthday, happy birthday. It's a happy, happy birthday song. There's 
Today is such a special day. It's my birthday, and I have 13 magical birthday wishes. But what should I wish for first? Hmm. Help! Help! <gasps> Sounds like Percy might be in trouble. <sighs> Percy! What's wrong? Oh, Thomas, I was making a very important food delivery for the animal park, but I stopped quickly at a light and everything spilled out. And now some ants grabbed it. Look, there they go. Oh, I'm not small enough to get under that rock. The food's gone for good. I'll help you, Percy. I'll use one of my birthday wishes to become as small as an ant. Then I'll be able to fit. I wish I was as small as an ant. Thomas, where are you? I'm down here, Percy! Huh, look at you! You're as small as an ant! Exactly! Don't worry, Percy! <sighs> Come back with that food! <laughs> this tiny little chase is over! All I want is my friend's food back! They're just hungry, but I can't let them have Percy's food! Surely I can think of something to help them, too! <gasps> I got it! Ha-ha! <laughs> Yummy apples for hungry ants coming right up! Watch out below! Now your truck of food's ready to go to the animal park, Percy! Thank you so much, Thomas! My pleasure! Now I'm off to make my next wish! See you, Thomas! Oh, and happy birthday! See you, Percy!
cannot wait to use my next magical birthday wish. But what to wish for next? No, no, no. This is no good at all. <sighs> I'd better go and see what's happened. Hello, James. What's the matter? It's my responsibility to clean Knapford Station today. And look at it, covered in mud. I'm going to get mud on myself. I just know it. Oh, that is not good. It gets worse. I'm all out of soap. Oh, that is worse. How am I going to clean Knapford now? Hmm. How about with a magical birthday wish? Really? Wish for more soap? No, something even better. I wish I was inside a super soap bubble. <sighs> oh, with this, I'll be able to bounce around, scrubbing all the mud off the station. Absolutely brilliant, Thomas. Thank you, James. Now to just... Whoa. 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 Uh, it's very slippery. Uh, I need to gain control. Oh, there. Huh. <laughs> there we go. Let's clean Nafford. Nafford Station. Clean. And not a drop of mud on me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thomas. That's what friends are for. And happy birthday! Thanks. See you, James. Birthday, happy birthday. It's a happy, happy... Excuse me, Mr. Crane. Uh-huh. You have to load me onto a ship bound for China straight away. Oh, do I now? Please. I'm trying to catch up with someone. Someone I need to talk to. That's some distance to go for a talk. Must be a good friend. Yes, she is. Sometimes you make a friend The kind of friend who stays Sometimes you make a friend and you're the one who goes away Sometimes you're the one Who acts a bit unkind You didn't think And you did something You can't forget and can't rewind I'm sorry, so sorry And I don't know what to do with you so far away I'm sorry, so sorry And as soon as I see you That's exactly what I'm going to a friend, the kind of friend you need. You try to make them happy, but you don't always succeed. Sometimes you're the one who does something that's not okay. Sometimes you hurt a friend, and you don't know what to do or say. I'm sorry, so sorry. from the island of Sodor. I think I met you at the Great Railway Show. Oh, hello! I remember you, your young Bao. That's right. But what are you doing in China, Thomas? Oh, I'm looking for a friend. A 
friend from Sodo. No, a friend from Africa. I met a steam engine from Africa this morning. <gasps> you did? Yes. She was heading for Dangye Dansia. Dangye Dansia? Yes, the Rainbow Mountains. The Rainbow Mountains? Of course. Thanks, thanks. If you're going to the mountains, you'll need the snow plow. Right, I'm looking for you. I'll come through if it takes me all my life. I'm sorry, so sorry, and I don't know what to do with you so far away. I'm sorry, so sorry, and as soon as I see you, that's exactly what I. in Pine Tree. Uh, I'm sure I look at This is a medical emergency, Shane, and it's calling Dr. Thomas. The Dr. Thomas here. Show me to the patient. Thomas? Isla, you're already here? But I thought you had to go to Melville Island first. Yes, I did, Thomas, and then I came here. I can fly much faster than you can roll, Thomas. It's hard for a train to beat a plane to an emergency. Patient with a broken leg in Adelaide River. Calling Dr. Clare. Aha! Maybe I can help that patient in Adelaide River instead. Dr. Thomas to the rescue! Hi! I'm the rolling doctor train. I'll take you to Darwin Hospital. Hop on! <laughs> well, not hop exactly. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Quickly now! That's it! Fast as you can go! What? Huh? Ah! You didn't need to drop by, Isla. I could have handled this emergency. Thanks, Thomas, but best leave this to the medical professionals. <laughs> Was quick. I can't make it through the cyclone. We need a train to take Dr. Claire. Where's Shane? He's busy lugging rocks, Isla. But don't worry, I can go. Must keep going. We're almost there. And... Phew! <laughs> we made it. The cyclone must have blown over. No, Thomas. We're just in the eye of the storm. The storm has an eye? Great job, Thomas! You got everyone out safely! A cyclone is no match for a strong and sturdy engine. Well done, Dr. Tomo. 